Hello, I'm Tom Rouse and this is another Wolves Wednesday. This time I'm talking a little bit about the end of the season awards because they're coming up, there's only a few weeks left of the season and it looks as if we're pretty much safe now so we can start looking ahead to next season. And as Paul Lambert has said this week, the summer is going to be one of the most important summers in Wolves recent history. He said that the signings that we need, four or five key signings, quality signings, and we'll be pushing for promotion next year. And with Fosun being a little bit wiser now and a little bit more understanding of what's needed to be successful in the championship, I'm sure that we're going to have an exciting summer. So make sure you keep tuning into my channel because I'll have all the latest gossip and transfer rumours. So, first award that I would like to talk about is the player of the season. Now, I think this is going to be quite a straightforward one for the majority of fans. I think that Helder Costa has been superb this season and head and shoulders above the rest. And signing him in January as well cemented his place in our hearts. He's a top quality player. But also, I think there's other players who have stood out this season as well. In particular, recently, Cavaliero has really stepped up and his absence was made clearer when he came back from his little injury and we won five games in a row so he has, has played really well and has kind of lived up to his seven and a half million pound um, fee although I think we can expect a bit more of him next season but now he's settled in the country and he's got Helder Costa with him as well if they sign another Portuguese player I think that the two of them will absolutely fly next season so those two have been up there, but my player of the season, and it might not come as a surprise to lots of you, but I think he's been exceptional this season as a midfielder in the Championship to score double figures and to play consistently throughout the season is Dave Edwards. Now, I know that lots and lots of people don't think that he's a very good footballer. I agree. I don't think he's, the, he's not the most gifted footballer, but what he is, is loyal... He's a hard worker and he's adapted his game to make him, give him that something extra. And if you ever go to the games as well, you will see that when the players come out and warm up and they have a little run around, kicking a few balls or whatever, then they all go back in. Dave Edwards is the last person out there practicing that late run into the box. He's always the last one to go back in. And that's that's what's keeping him in the team, you know. All the other players from that batch that got promoted in 2009 have all fell by the wayside or the ones who got relegated in 2012 have all gone. Players who even got promoted from League One with us have left and moved on. He's been consistent through that and he could argue that maybe the club should be looking to move players like that on and, and bring on young players. But he's a good role model for those players like Jack Price who plays alongside him, Lee Evans as well, a Welsh player with him. And that's why I think Dave Edwards should be the player of the season this season. He's been absolutely exceptional. It's been his best season for us. It's a shame that he came in for some stick a few weeks ago. It was quite funny that there's the thing that I heard. He deleted his Twitter after somebody pointed out, somebody quoted that Dave Edwards was the first player in the championship to reach 100 tackles or the first midfielder in the championship to make 100 tackles this season. And somebody commented, tweeted to Dave Edwards, but that's only because your second touch is a tackle. Goal of the season, I'm going to keep this quite brief because for me there's only one that really stands out. And that's a recent goal and that's Costa's goal against Cardiff. For me it was an exceptional goal of exquisite skill. The way that he was sending the goalkeeper and the defenders flying about the place was amazing. And he showed then why he's worth so much money and why he is a top quality player and why he's going to be... A star one day. The next award or the next thing I want to talk about is the moment of the season and personally there's no other, nothing can compare to the win at Anfield. And unfortunately, I mean for other people this season it might be the win at Blues or it might be beating Villa at home There's it's, or Newcastle away. There's been lots of great moments but on a personal level I was there at Anfield I unfortunately missed the Blues game, missed the Villa game, missed the Newcastle game. To go to Anfield thinking that, alright, we'd be lucky if we can come back with a replay, we'd be really happy with that, that'd be amazing. Um, and then seeing the lineup, you think, oh, we've got a chance here. Then, within a minute being ahead, 
and being 2 0 up at half time. I remember at half time just sitting there having to be quiet to just contemplate what we've just seen and think, is that real? If it was 1 0, we wouldn't have felt like that. It would have been, oh, that was great, yeah, brilliant. We'll see if we can hold on now in the second half. But the fact that it was 2 0, it's unreal. Now, for my final award, the flop of the season. Now, this could go to one of many. There have been lots and lots of players who were signed in the summer who have not made any impact at all, or have not played at all, or who have been shipped off elsewhere already. Zhao Teixeira came in and played quite well. Wasn't really given a fair shot, some people have said, but he hasn't really played for Forest either since he's gone there, so we haven't. I don't think we've missed anything there. Ola John as well has been subsequently loaned out by us, despite being on loan to us. Don't ask me how that works, but that's the case there. He, I don't think he even played at all. He was injured and then it was shipped out. Uh, Onyangi started a few games at the start of the season. He's very good on Football Manager, but he's gone as well. Silvio was injured for a lot of the season, but the two that stand out for me, I can't separate the two of them because they're both as awful as each other but they both have very very good Instagram accounts and if you want to see travel videos and travel pictures and nice uh, Baltis and Schiffnell then check out the Instagram accounts of Walter Zenger and Paul Gladden. The two of them have had an absolutely lovely year. Away from the Wolves the two of them have been jet setting off everywhere, they've been to Amsterdam recently, they've been anywhere but Compton or Molyneux, they have been. When Zenga was in charge, my favourite things were the chant about we're massive in Italy. That's my favourite chant I think Wolves fans have come up with for a long time. The, the passion was... I think he was just a bit mad, wasn't he? And the things he used to say in interviews as well, I used to like, um, we must accept we must accept or we must not accept things, certain things, accept. Say, so, oh, we are in the right way. What does that mean? We are in the right way. Lovely, lovely stuff. And then Paul Gladden, I don't even know if he started a game this season. He came in because John DeWolf told him that, that it was a great club. So I wouldn't argue with John DeWolf, neither did uh, Paul Gladden. Came in and... The only people really who are glad that Paul Gladden has come in are the people who work at Schiffner Balti. Apparently he's been there an awful lot and he's been an excellent loyal customer for them. And just to finish off now a couple of bits of injury news. Michael Zyro, Silvio and Jordan Graham all played for the under 23s this week at Telford. So that's great to hear and hopefully they can build up their fitness so they can get some first team. I would love them. Last game of the season at Preston. If they could come on for the last 20 minutes, I think that would give everybody a great boost to go home for the summer with. Right, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then why don't you press that like button. If you want to see more of these, you can see last week and the week before's Wolves Wednesdays. You can see some of my match previews and reviews there. And then maybe, if you like Football Manager... You can have a look at the series that I'm doing at the moment there. If you like the sound of any of those things, then why don't you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on anything that's coming up. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.